Do you want to know how to make pigmented lip gloss? Are you a lover of chocolate mint? Stick around and I'll show you how to make pigmented lip gloss. Hi and welcome to my channel. I am Basha, owner of Basha'sVault.com. Today I will show you how to make chocolate mint pigmented lip gloss. When making any type of product, you want to always weigh your ingredients for product consistency. I will begin with Versagel, jojoba oil, and a mixture of fractionated coconut oil and vitamin E. For step two, I will add the oils to the Versagel base, beginning with the clear jojoba oil and then adding the fractionated coconut oil and vitamin E mixture. Next, I will warm the Versagel base in a water bath, which will make it easier and faster to mix the oils into the Versagel. Warming up the Versagel base significantly cuts down the mixing time. The mixing is in real time so that you can see how fast the mixture becomes homogenous. The consistency is to my liking, so I will now remove the mixture from the water bath. Please be sure to wipe any remaining water from your bowl. For step five, I will add liquid lip pigment. The first pigment I will add is white, which I ordered from TKB Trading. I add white to this mixture because the base is transparent or clear, so I need to add white to give the base a starting point and to lighten the brown color once added.
It is essential to start with a few drops of color at a time and then work your way up until you reach your intended color. Always take note of drops used so that when you go to remake this product, you can get the same color and save yourself a headache. I will continue these steps until I reach a color that I like being sure to notate the number of drops used for each color. Now that I have reached the ideal color, I will add sweetened flavor oil. Flavor oils that are sweetened have a scent and sweetener. The sweetener tricks the brain into thinking that the user of the product is tasting the scent that they are smelling. When using a flavor oil that has color, you must take the color of the flavor oil into consideration as it will have an impact on the color of your final product. In this case, the flavor oil is brown, so I was able to add the flavor oil to the product at the end. However, if your flavor oil may change your intended end color, you should add your flavor oil prior to adding your color. And we have our chocolate mint lip gloss.
If you would like to see how I make a lip gloss with chunky glitter, click the video in the end screen.